student dormitory where you spend your days? This is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room, well, did it make you a little suspicious? In truth, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories, each one a polished glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold, Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled? After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I'll put it more plainly. I'm naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times I seemed to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to guide me through it. Thank you. I feel like a completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. You have come.
<laughs> now close your eyes why you ask so that you don't witness my sinfulness mm. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> this is a storage room, yes? But where is your room? Oh, I would never have guessed. So you prefer cramped, dingy spaces. How fascinating. Please, tell me more about yourself. Oh, I'm sensing some unusual energy around this desk. Your infiltration tools are made here? Could I possibly try my hand at it? Thank you. Let us see what I can do. Now, what should I make? Ah, I know! To show my gratitude for rescuing me, I shall craft for you a secret weapon. I think you'll be rather pleased with it. Hmm, this is trickier than I expected. Oh, uh-oh. Well, I can fix that. Cursed screwdriver, how dare you defy your wielder? Obey me! Drive those screws! Ugh! Oh, screw it! Megiddo! It seems my time out of body has led to my becoming somewhat undexterous. While it pains me to say it, your secret weapon will have to wait. More importantly, I should be using this time to learn more about you. Is this your bed? It's surprisingly similar to the one in your cell. Can you truly rest here? Really? Well, it only makes sense that you would have bedding softer than that in a prison. May I sit? Optimum firmness. Ideal warmth. I'm not sure why, but... I feel so calm here. You fiend. You'll pay for splitting me in two. Let's see how your holy grail holds up to this sledgehammer. Take that. Huh? It didn't work? you heard it was just so comfortable perhaps I allowed myself to relax a little too much I sent some residual energy here as well ah you use it for training may I ask for a demonstration come on one two one two put your back into it you think you can save the world like that one one, two! One, two! Don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm doing this for your sake. Well done. Such commendable willpower. I can sense some lingering energy around this television. Or is it actually coming from the box attached to it? What is this? only heard of them in stories, but is this one of your world's vaunted video games? They say that once a player begins, they're unable to tear themselves away. 
If it truly can entrance humans to such a degree, could you play a bit for me? I see. You're piloting the spaceship, and your objective is to destroy the oncoming enemies. Look how they scatter. This is quite impressive. You weave around each bullet with dizzying precision. Whoa, there's so many of them now. Oh, you're surrounded. Look out, on your right. I mean left. No, they're in front now. Use the boost. Look, it's the boss. Fire the beam cannons. Annihilate it. You did it! The world is saved! <clears throat> A most dexterous display. I can certainly see why humans get so passionate about these games. Perhaps I'll ask my master if we can install one in our room. I've enjoyed this first-hand glimpse into your daily life. It was quite illuminating. Before I became whole, I visited many places with you and gained a wealth of new experiences. Thanks to that, I feel like I've come to understand humans better. And perhaps more importantly, I feel like I understand you better. So, thank you. Though you have cast off your shackles, I will still await you in that room. This is a token of my gratitude for today. Please, take it. It would be a shame if I were to leave so soon. May I stay a little longer? <laughs>